Hey crafters and welcome to another Inkscape tutorial. Today we will talk about how you mold text into a shape. Now this is a pretty simple technique and there are loads of ways you might use it. For example, you can see on my screen, you could mold the words of your favorite song into a heart for like an anniversary gift or maybe all the names of everyone in the class into the shape of the year they graduate, you know, things like that. Let's get straight into the method. So to keep things simple, I have downloaded an SVG heart. Um, I'll put a link for you in the description below. We could always create this using shapes within Inkscape, but it's just easier and quicker this way. Just to demonstrate, once you have downloaded the heart SVG to open it in Inkscape, it's really simple. Just go to the file and import menu and then navigate to where you saved it on your computer and then you simply click open and then make sure that you have selected include SVG as an editable object because we want to continue working with it as an SVG and then you would click OK. I'm going to close this because I've already inserted the heart and the next thing I'm going to do just to make sure is to do path object to path because I do need the shape into which my text is going to go to be a path. Okay, so next open up a text box by clicking on the A icon on the left hand side. I've got some text on my clipboard, so I'm just pasting that in with Control V. And then I'm going to change the font by searching for it here in this font menu. To get this menu open, you simply click on that T icon. And then I will also change the size and hit apply. Okay, apologies, it's gone off the screen, there we are. So now there's only one step left to do. You simply select your text box and then you shift and you click on the object into which you want to put your text and you go up to the text menu and select flow into frame. So that's basically done, but we can, we can make this look a bit nicer. I'm just going to zoom in by hitting control shift. And then if I click into my text box, it's still text, it's still editable, it's just been shaped into this heart shape. The first thing I'm going to do is reduce the line spacing. You might have your set already at a smaller line spacing than me, so you may not need to do this step. That's looking okay. Then I might reduce the size of the font again to maybe 15, hit apply. So that's looking better. The next thing I'm going to do is I can see there are some large spaces between the lines. So I'm just going to come in and press the backspace key to bring this all into kind of one long text. Okay, so with those changes, I can see that I don't quite have enough text to fill the heart. I'm just going to paste a bit more of the initial text that I had. Obviously, when you do this, you'll work with the amount of text that you need for your particular project. And the last step is to make sure it really fits into the frame. So to do that, you need to fix the justification. So it's currently justified on the left, but actually you want it to be fully justified both sides. And now you can see it looks really nicely molded to that shape of the heart. So to make that more clear, I'm just going to get rid of the fill on that heart shape. And you can see, if I zoom out a bit, how nicely that has flowed into the shape of a heart. So you can see that was actually really simple and there will be loads of ways that you guys can use this. As ever, tag me in your projects on Instagram at London Craft Girl. I will see you in the next video guys. Till then, happy crafting.